My name is Simon Lichtenberg. Uh, I was born in uh, Copenhagen, Denmark, and I came to China in 1987 to study Chinese at Fudan University. And uh, in 93, I started a business here, uh, running uh, and manufacturing furniture. Uh, and today, we have uh, built this business to a, a, a bigger scale, and we are uh, exporting about a thousand containers of uh, furniture every month mainly to the US. We're specializing in leather furniture, so we are the eighth biggest leather furniture manufacturer in the world. I've been reading the, the documents from both the 20th Party Congress in October and also from the dual sessions in March this year. And uh, one very important thing for me is further opening up. So it, it has been clearly established that opening up to the rest of the world is, is a fundamental policy of China and that will continue to be done and uh, I know that there's been a lot of, uh, of discussions about unfair competition between Chinese companies and, and foreign companies and so on but I think that the playing field is being more and more level and the central government is really trying to implement a, a, a fair and uh, an open policy for the whole world. So the second thing uh, that I think was very important from both the party congress and sessions is uh, high quality development and I think first of all it's high quality lives for the people the party is trying its its very best to create a stable and prosperous uh, developed society in China and high quality development is in terms of businesses is uh, maybe around the value addition in the past development was like more like a speed fast development now it's more like more about high quality so the value addition to products, the design, the, the development, you know, more R&D, more product development, more value addition to products, making it higher quality uh, creations out of China. The Chinese whole process democracy is a Chinese way of engaging in democracy and making people involved in the lawmaking and the kind of the ruling of the country. So I've personally been involved in uh, the whole process democracy through uh, my neighborhood committee, so where I live, and they invited me to participate in meetings with the uh, NPC, with the, with the national lawmakers, with online meetings uh, where we, we came up with points and suggestions for the corporate law, for the VAT law, for the financial stability law, and for the charity law. Four laws I've been involved in. And they used some of our inputs, and that was a way that people were, were collected from all over the country to come with ideas and inputs to the lawmaking. And that is, that is one part of the whole process democracy. And I think it, it works very well. Another thing that has been uh, an important part of both the Congress and the dual sessions is a shared future for mankind. And uh, I think China has done a, an outstanding job. First of all, in raising 600 million people in China out of poverty since the beginning of the Chinese opening up 40 years ago and making the world a better place. Another part of a shared future for mankind is about climate change. And China is, has a, a lot of initiatives and uh, plans and ways of fighting climate change and also of sharing that knowledge and that initiatives with other countries. And uh, we have established a, a Nordic Innovation Center for Sustainability in Shanghai. And uh, that is to uh, use the best technologies and experiences and uh, of for sustainable development from the Nordic countries uh, to exchange and, and work with China. And uh, this is one of the things that we're doing. And I think it, it, that is a, an important part of China and the Nordic countries together fighting climate change. Shanghai is my home and uh, I love my city. I, I love China as a country. And I hope that people will come and visit and see China with their own eyes. So uh, come to China, come visit Shanghai. Come visit my home.